hope everyone slept well. <laughs> hope everyone slept well. How was your night, actually? Oh my God. Just asking the question. How was your night? Hope everyone slept well. Hope everyone had a good night. Morning, morning, everyone. It was short. Rev, your night is always short. It's always short. It's fine. Just <laughs> daily. <laughs> we thank God it was short at this point. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> no, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, you on a night shift. God bless you. Oh, well done for coming to pray, y'all. Oh, oh, come on, dedication. Sorry, I meant to pray. Sorry, focus, focus. Sorry. Right. Morning, everyone. Um, I'll just start off by just thanking God um, for his goodness, um, for his mercies, um, for the fact that we are here, we're living, we're breathing. Um, it's just bless um, the name of the Lord. I just thank him um, for the grace to be alive, for the grace to be here. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you. <clears throat> We glorify your name, Abba. We give you all the praise, all the adoration. We thank you for who you are, for what you do. But I just want to say thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise and all the adoration, Alpha and Omega. Mareka ke ya basa taya masa taya basa ke. Raso to yo boso ko, boso to yo boso ko. Rese ke ye mese te ye bese te ye bese ke re bese te. Rake ya masa taya basa kara basa taya basa ta. Jake ya masa taya. But I just want to say thank you, God. We glorify your name, God. We thank you for who you are, for what you do, for who you are and what you do, God. For that we give you all the praise and all the adoration. We thank you that you are loved. We thank you that you are compassionate. We thank you that you are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful, God. Even when we are not faithful, Father, you are faithful. It's who you are. You don't change. There's no shadow of darkness in you, God. We thank you that you are light. We thank you that you are never, you, you never change, God. You are who you are. You are like, I am that I am. We don't even know the extent of you, God. We just glorify your name, God. We give you all the praise and all the adoration. We thank you, God. We thank you because there are realms of you. We thank you because the extensions of you that we are even yet to know we thank you that you loved us we thank you for sending your son for us we thank you for always being there for us for always stretching out for us reaching out to us for us seeking us out god we thank you god for always making uh, making us available to actually even see you allowing us to actually even have access to you god because lord we know we don't deserve it but lord we just give you all the praise and all the adoration we glorify your name god we glorify your name but i got to just think of all the things that we know that god has done for us and just start to thank him god from the bottom of our hearts so just start to thank him let's just start to give him all the praise and all the adoration throughout this fast one thing we've been looking at is how we can praise god and what was that verse that we're actually emphasizing throughout this whole um period so far where it talks about the fact that we should praise god with our hearts our souls and our minds let's just, just praise god let's just thank him let's just give him all the praise and all the adoration from the innermost beings of our hearts <laughs> let's just think of the last thing that god did for us the first and best thing he did for us the last thing wasn't good enough the best thing he did for us everything's good enough but whatever it is let's just thank him from our innermost being let's actually give him genuine thanks this morning not just a routine thanks god but i would just glorify your name we thank you god 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 for keeping us for keeping us god we glorify your name god we glorify your name god because you are good because you are good we praise you we command our soul to praise you we command our body to praise you we praise you in our spirits we thank you for saying in your son we thank you for your love god we thank you for your love god your immeasurable love god your endless love god we glorify your name god for your favor for your mercy for your grace god we glorify your name god we glorify you god we glorify you god we glorify you god we magnify you above all else no matter what's happening in our lives right now we still glorify you the things that we think we need the things that we think we don't have the things that we're even looking forward to things that we you've even blessed us with the testimonies that we have we just glorify you god we magnify you above all else god we glorify you god we give you all the praise all the adoration there's none like you god there's none like you god in all the earth there's none like you god you are our keeper <laughs> Psalm one to one says that he's a god who doesn't sleep nor slumber he doesn't sleep nor slumber he doesn't sleep nor slumber there are people in this world that we might that in yoruba there's a word called bekele <laughs> and i love that word so much so let's feel like it means lean on there's some people that we lean on there's people that we are trusting because we're just like you know what because this person is here i'm sorted in this job or i'm sorted in this territory or I'm sorted in this country or I'm sorted in this issue because we know that this person is there but that person can fall sick that person can die that person can have an accident that person can be delayed but God is a God who does not sleep or slumber so when we think of why we lean on God why the Bible says he's our rock of ages he's the one that we lean on he's the one that we actually rely on he's the one that we can actually lean on completely that we can have complete trust in it's because he doesn't sleep nor slumber <laughs> and Father we just thank you for being our keeper we thank you for being the shepherd of our souls Father we 
we glorify your name, God. There's none like you. <laughs> there is none like you. None, none, none can cover us like you. That you have no rival. There's no one as beautiful as you. For that, we just give you all the praise and all the adoration, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. And we just come to you today, God, and we just pray that our sacrifice today, our prayers today, everything we say, everything we bring to the altar, God, is actually acceptable to you, is actually pleasing to you, God. We just want to come here as a part of a routine, God. We want to sacrifice to you, God. We want to come to you, God, as our Father, as our Lord, as our Sovereign King, as our Savior, as a Sovereign Ruler, God. We want to pray according to your will, God. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. God. Let everything that we do today be aligned to you, God. We just want to come here and just bring up our petitions, God. We actually want to hear from you, God. We we want to see you be you in, in our midst, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just pray for every single person who's never been able to make it to the call today. We just intercede for them as well in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just give you all the praise and all the adoration, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We glorify you, God. There's none like you, God. There is 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 none like you, God. You are the ancient of days. There is none like you, God. There is none like you, God. We magnify you, God. We magnify you, God. And we fix our focus on you, God. We fix our eyes on you, God. We fix our eyes on you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. You are the sustainer of everything. You are the sustainer of everything. There is nothing outside of you. You own everything. It's all yours. It's all yours. And we just give you all the praise and all the adoration. And we just say thank you, God. We just say thank you, God. I'm struggling with this word. It's instruct in instructable. What's that word? Instructable? Uh we just thank you, God, that you are instructable. No one can instruct you on what to do. Come on. <laughs> we just give you all the praise. And we just thank you, God. And we invite you into this presence, God. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Okay. Um, morning, everyone. Um, I'll like us to just start. Um, we're going to continue our prayers. Um, we're praying about the buddy um, as we have been praying about. Um, there's actually a verse that's on my mind and I can't seem to find it. And I don't know if it was, I can't remember where I got it from, but I know it's a verse and I can't seem to find it. And I think when I actually found it, it was like a bunch of chapters and I was like, you know what? It's a study. It's going to be a study. So I hope at some point it comes to mind. So I feel like I'm going to keep referring to it, but it's just it's there. It's there. But no, we're just going to start off with um first Corinthians 6, 12 um to 20. And I'll let us just go there quickly. And um, we can just take our main prayer points from there. <laughs> um, so we're just going to 1 Corinthians 6, 20. Um, and it says, let me just read. I feel like I always like to read in the AMPC version, but it's tougher to read out loud. <laughs> I'll just read in the ESV. I think that, that's easier. Okay, so it says, 1 Corinthians 6, um, verse 12. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated or not be dominated by anything. For it is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food. And the stomach for food. And God will destroy both one and the other. That means food and the stomach. But the, the body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. And that's a key verse. And God raised the and, and God raised the Lord and will also raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then not, shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For as it is written, the two will become one flesh, but he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Flee from sexual immor immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside of the body but the sexual immoral person sins against his own body or do you not know that the body is a temple of the holy spirit within you the body is a temple of the holy spirit within you I'm not my glasses the body is a temple of the holy spirit within you whom you have from god you are not your own for you were bought with a price so glorify god in your body amen okay so i could just take our first prayer point um just from that much from that scripture and the first prayer point is that she just that and um, we just want to pray that god will help us that god will help us um god will purify our bodies and any any in any way that we have prostituted our bodies our temples the bible the, the verse actually says that um, the, your body is a temple of the holy spirit and what i wrote down when i was studying this um later on um, earlier on was just the point of there are times where we've actually prostituted 
prostituted our bodies in terms of trying to get certain things. So we, 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 we work to do something. We work to get money. We work to do this. We work to do that. But we're using our bodies. Like, okay, I need to use my body to get this, to get that, to get this, to get that. But then we forget that we're actually the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the verse that came with that when I was studying it was when Jesus actually went to the temple and he chased out all the um he chased out all the people who were selling doves who were changing money and he said that my house might uh, uh, he, and he quoted was it um isaiah that he, his, isaiah or jeremiah where he said my house will be a house of prayer not a house for press was it a house for prostitutes did he say but not a house for robbers there we go <laughs> not a house for robbers and like us to just pray that in any way that we have used our body it would prostitute our body in any way for money to get gains in any way that god would help that god, first of all we should repent that was first of all just actually repent so I just repent that god in any way i've prostituted my body my body that is a temple of the holy ghost have mercy on me and turn me and realign me back to you in the mighty name of jesus so lord we just even pray first and foremost we repent god that in any way we've actually prostituted Student, bro, we've actually prostituted our bodies that we, that would not acted in line with your spirit because our because we have the temple of the holy because we have the holy spirit inside of us and which is a temple of the holy spirit we're meant to actually use our bodies as as the house of prayer so in any way that we've actually used our bodies and we focused more or using our bodies to make money to 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 to, to get validation to get praises to fix in our eyes on things of the world instead of fixing our eyes on you instead of making sure that we're consecrating our bodies we're putting our bodies under to actually be be acceptable be pleasing and acceptable to you lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy and we just we just ask for your forgiveness and we repent god we repent god in any way that we have prostituted our bodies in the mighty name of jesus we even ask right now that you start to reveal to us in the mighty name of jesus areas in our lives that we have prostituted our bodies areas in our lives that we've given our bodies away in exchange for something in exchange for something we're giving our time away in exchange of, of in exchange for something knowingly or, or, or unknowingly god but that we just ask for mercy and we just repent God and we ask that you realign us back to where we need to be help us realign our bodies help us realign our bodies to submit to you to submit to your spirit to submit to what you want to do in the mighty name of Jesus you've called us to be a royal priesthood a royal priesthood is always a royal priesthood they're always consecrating themselves they're always living to make sure they're, they're living sacrifices first Peter says that we are that we are living sacrifices unto God everywhere we go we are living sacrifices even the verse we just said literally just said that we are temples of the Holy Ghost so Lord we just even repent right now in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus, in Jesus' name, we're afraid. And let's just take this, let's just take the second prayer point from there. Um, I think a verse in here actually says that do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ then shall I take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute never let's just pray right now as well that in any way I'm just trying to phrase this properly in my head <laughs> let's just pray right now that in any way that we have used our bodies in any ways that we have not actually lived as a living sacrifice because if we are joined to Christ everything we do should be aligned to Christ everything we do in our bodies whether we are in church whether we are among Christians whether we are in a Lutheran whether we are with our Christian friends or we are with our work friends every place we find ourselves we need to be members that are joined to christ we need to remember that we are actually living sacrifice we need to remember that we are actually temples of the holy spirit so i'll just pray right now that in any way that we have not lived and we have not expressed ourselves and we have not acted and not even acted we have not behaved or being being is the right word we've not actually reflected or manifested the fact that we're actually living sacrifices in different areas of our lives let's just pray that god has start to have mercy on us let's just also just pray that god help us start to realign to actually be able to walk in in the full realness in the full truth of, of us being a living sacrifice to him in every area of our lives we don't want to be christians here and not christians here we don't want to be christians here at work maybe christians at work and maybe not christians when we go to um among women with our friends or our families depending on the scenario that we find ourselves so lord we just actually for mercy right now we just ask that you help us realign ourselves help, help us realign our hearts god in any way that we have turned in any way that we are not living sacrifices to you in any way that we're not acting as members of christ because we are joined to christ not a prostitute we are joined to christ not a prostitute so any that we that we are prostituting ourselves that maybe here I'm, I'm married to christ but over here i'm actually doing some side thing with some with some with some office babe <laughs> lord have mercy lord have mercy in the mighty name of jesus and i think hosiah actually helps us break that down better where um Uzziah went and married a wife but then she left him and was now like prostituting herself and giving herself away to other lovers so in any way that our hearts are not completely united to Christ because the 
Pastor Jesus says that we are members of Christ. We are united to Christ. We are Christ's body. Christ even calls us his bride as the church. So I'll just pray that in any way that we are not fully committed to Christ, fully committed to our relationship with Christ, especially with our bodies, especially what we use our bodies for, the things that we do, the things that we weigh that we behave, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just ask for mercy that in any way that we're actually using our bodies, that is not in line with your will, that is not in line, that is not in line with a temple of the Holy Spirit. Father, we ask for mercy and we ask that you just help us realign back to you. Help us realign back to you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us realign back to you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In any way we have solid our temples, in any way we have solid our temples, help us realign back to you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us realign back to you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. The verse I was talking about earlier was, there's a verse in the Bible, and I can't remember where it is, so I think I keep remembering different parts. Um, of it when I try to remember it but it's the verse in the bible where um I think either Moses or one of the prophets were talking about the the, the temple the tabernacle and they were saying how like um there's an altar inside the, the inner the holy of holies the altar inside but it's also an altar outside and they're talking about the fact that even though the, um, the Israelites were always sacrificing pure pure sacrifice you know they were doing the right things inside the altar but outside of the altar just outside of the altar they were actually sacrificing to other gods as well and I I really hope I can find the verse because there was a word that was in that verse that I can't remember for the life of me. But even just that whole that just that whole scene in your mind, just imagine literally inside of you, inwardly, you are actually sacrificing to God. You love God. You know that okay, your spirit, your soul is aligned with God, but your body, just literally imagine your body doing other things that does not align with God. That is not what the image of Christ is. That's not what Christ was doing. Till the end, Christ was sacrificed his body till the end. So I'll just pray that every part of our body that even when even we even as we've prayed last week and the week before that our spirit is submitted to God our, our soul is submitted to God let's just pray that even our bodies right now will be aligned to God will be aligned to God that we would not give our bodies away again this is just talking about prostitution and I love that word prostitution because it's easy if you're in a relationship and you are leaving the relationship and going to like maybe cheat on your your partner that's adultery that's like one person but if you're just going up and down and you are gaining something from it prostitution literally means that you are getting money you are getting validation you are getting accolades you are getting something from there's something that it's feeding inside of you so you actually enjoy giving yourself away so whatever it is and i think like that's even the prayer whatever it is that we are doing that is giving our bodies away father we just ask for mercy right now whatever it is that we are doing that you know that we're doing that gives our bodies away that does not give our bodies to you but we're actually giving our bodies away to get accolades to get praise we're not actually submitting our bodies to you but we ask for mercy in the mighty name of jesus we ask for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus, even during this fast, God, whatever it is that we are doing, even even in terms of food, in terms of what we're watching, in terms of who we are, on who we are giving access to. Who, um, someone was leading prayer the other day, and they mentioned the fact that we have five senses, and we should submit our five senses to God. Whatever, in whatever way that we have given our five senses out, and we have prostituted it, and we are getting something from it, something that we actually that we actually treasure more than God. The Bible literally says that your heart is where your treasure is. So whatever it is that we actually treasure more than God is where we give our body to. So we're like, oh God, God, you have my heart, but you know I can do whatever I want with this body. Oh God, sees my heart. So no, no, we want our full whole self to be for God. So Lord, we just submit our full whole self to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, Holy Spirit, we ask that you start to bring back to our memories parts of our lives, areas of our lives, that we are prostituting ourselves, that we are trying to gain accolades, we are trying to gain validation, we are trying to gain affection, we are trying to gain uh, attention, we are trying to gain things that is feeding our bodies, making us feel some type of, we're making us feel all tingly and stuff inside, the verse even talks about sexual immorality, and there's anything that we are doing that's even sexually immoral in our lives, God, that was making us prostitute ourselves, God, but that we ask for mercy, we ask for mercy, we ask for mercy even those of us that are even dealing with any form of sexual sin for that we even ask for mercy we break that circle in the mighty name of jesus we break that circle in the mighty name of jesus and we pray healing in the mighty name of jesus we pray deliverance and we pray breakthrough over that even like right now in the mighty name of jesus any area of our lives God, that we are prostituting ourselves God, for that we ask for mercy we pray that you help us realign our bodies back to you give us an awareness give us a revelation to actually give our bodies back to you god in the mighty name of jesus 
Marosoto yebosokorobosoto jekake ya masata ya basa karabasata marosoto yebosokorobosoto rekake ya masata ya basa karabasata jakaya masata ya basata ya basata maroko ko yebosoto yebosokorobosoto rekake ya masata ya basata for in Jesus name we have prayed <coughs> amen 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 um, okay, and in, in 1 Corinthians 6, uh, verse 18 to verse 19, it then says, flee from sexual immor immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside of the body. Hmm, that's actually interesting. It's outside of the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God with your body. And um. A verse just came to mind right now where Jesus said that if your right hand, if your, if your right hand or your right eye causes you to sin, cut it off. <laughs> cut it off. It is not worth it. And even that's even really important, even in this verse that we're reading right now, because the next prayer point I want us to even pray about is that, um, and what I wrote down was, God, help us repent from every form of corruption or perversion of our bodies. And every time I, every, when I was reflecting, what made me write that down was I was thinking of Jesus as the head. And if Jesus is the head and we and the church is the body, if a part of your body is corrupted, if a part of your body has like a disease or has an infirmity it, it just it doesn't it would actually affect every other part of your body and you don't cut it off like if you actually have a disease in your body and it's something that sometimes when you have like an issue with your leg and they actually have to amp amp amputate it because it literally it would affect your whole body like you can actually give you more disease and this literally cuts off it's actually your problem so let's just pray and i think was it last week when we we're talking about the vines and the branches let's just pray that again yes we want to be pruned but if you don't if you're not being pruned you will get cut off because just as she said you'll cut off the branches that are not producing fruits <laughs> facts so let's just pray that first of all god we repent from every corruption and perversion every corruption and perversion whatever it is in our lives that's been corrupted that has been perverted and we don't we don't just want to pray for ourselves personally we pray for the whole body in the mighty name of jesus we pray against every corruption every perversion in the body in the mighty name of jesus our physical bodies and we pray for our physical bodies we pray also on behalf of the whole christian body as well the whole christ's body as well we're interceding for them as well but that every area of our lives that has been perverted that has been been corrupted because sometimes even when you've been delivered after during the fast you were cleansed you were clean you were high up spiritually everything's all good everything's all nice but then after the fast your body wants to start to go back into your default setting you always want to it always wants to go back into actually i'm craving this i'm craving that i've missed this i've missed that no we want to just even pray against that right now we're putting our bodies under what we'll be praying about this week we're talking about um the the, the verse with paul where he says that the athlete puts their body under so lord we just even pray right now we put our bodies under in the mighty name of jesus so the prayer point again <laughs> is that we repent from every form of corruption and perversion in our body in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we repent of every form of corruption and perversions in our bodies. And Holy Spirit, we just even pray right now that you start to bring to our minds every corruption, every perversion, every act of, of, of corruption and perversion, everything that has become default in our settings, that's become a reflex in our settings, things that is easy, it's easy for us to do. Even from as little as junk food to as big as sexual immorality, whatever it may be. Any way that we are corrupt in our own bodies we we you you bought us with a price our body is yours our body is yours our bodies is not our own it's for you it's for you it's for you how dare we how dare we solid what you bought with a price what you bought with the price of your son lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy we just even pray right now that you even put in our hearts break our hearts with what break yours god break our hearts with what break yours every corruption every perversion that we have become that we have become desensitized to god break our hearts with what breaks yours God, let us know that this is something that doesn't fit us as sons of God. You bought us with a price, God. Our body is not our own. We even ask for a revelation, for an awareness that as we move every day of our lives, we know that our body is not our own and we take care of it as a temple. We're not just taking care of it in terms of eat well, feel well, go to sleep well, drink water well. No, no, no. We want to have a spiritual understanding of your understanding, your knowledge of good and evil, of how to take care of your body because this is a body that you bought back we even said something when we said this 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 um this session this week she said like, the body that we should not demonize the body that the body is god's own body 
Maro koko yobo soto. God created the body. Maare kakaya basa taya basa ta. Jakoro bo soto yobo soko robo. Father, we just pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We even pray because we have an images of you, God. We are images of you, God. So we just even pray that in any way we have corrupted your image. We have made we have made a perversion of your image, God. We have have mercy on us, God. Any body part that we have perverted in our minds. Oh shakaya masa taya basa ka. Have mercy on us, God. Cleanse us, God. Clean us up. Clean us up. Maare kakaya ba. Purify us, God. Purify us, God. Purify us, God. Purify our minds. Purify our souls. Purify our spirits, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We want your knowledge of good and evil. We want your knowledge of how we should treat our bodies, how we should see our bodies, how we should take care of our bodies, God. We submit our bodies as a living sacrifice to you, God. We submit our bodies to you, God. Teach us what to do, how to live, God. Individually, God. Every single one of us, God. You care about our bodies said you know every strand every strand of hair on our head so you know about our bodies god we just pray in the mighty name of jesus we just pray in the mighty name of jesus another thing i wrote down god was the fact that any any planned perversion or corruption that we have in our minds but that we repent and we ask for mercy and we ask for strength to not fall to that temptation in the mighty name of jesus but that we just even pray right now for any planned corruption or perversion that we have in our mind whatever Whatever, whatever, whatever stumbling, whatever recurring stumbling block in the areas of corruption and perversion of our bodies, God, that we have in our spirits, that we have in our lives, God, whatever seasons it may be, whatever self self harm um, behaviors that we may have, whatever self harm actions or or, 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 or is it actions, actions, behaviors, actions, uh, but that we just pray for mercy, God, and we just ask for strength, God, even as we're praying, even during this fast, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for strength and we break through in the mighty name of Jesus. We break every self-arming act in the mighty name of Jesus, every corrupted act in the mighty name of Jesus. Even everything that we have done in the past as well, we pray against it in the mighty name of Jesus. But we pray against every circle of corruption and perversion in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We even just pray over our minds right now. Your word said that you have made us mysteriously and wonderfully complex. You said that we are your workmanship. We are not our own. We are are yours we are yours our body is yours so how dare we hate our bodies Marakakaya so lord we just even pray over our minds right now we pray for the soul last week but we even just pray over our minds right now in the mighty name of jesus and we pull down every lofty thought every argument every perverted argument every perverted thoughts every opinion that is against the knowledge of god in our lives in the mighty name of jesus and we start to see our bodies right beyond the societal norms of fat skinny uh black white whatever it may be whatever society has put down as what our bodies should look like we look to you jesus we look to you jesus as the stand of what of, of our bodies right now even right now in the mighty name of jesus we submit our bodies to you god we submit our bodies to you god we submit our bodies to you god we rebuke we rebuke every lie of the enemy that says we need to add to our bodies everything you've given us is what you've given us and we accept it in the mighty name of Jesus we rebuke every perversion of the enemy every lie of the enemy God help us start to see our bodies the way you created us to be give us divine understanding with the Holy Spirit inside of us let us start to whisper truths truths about what you made us to be every every part of our body every dimension every part every dimension every form we would not reject what you have given us God so you even said in Jeremiah that I knew you in your mother's womb. I formed you. So you know us, God. You know our bodies, God. Our bodies matter to you, God. We will not submit our bodies to our flesh, but we'll submit it to your spirit, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I refute and I rebuke every every thought that makes us hate our bodies right now in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we just pray in the mighty name of Jesus for in Jesus name we've prayed amen
Amen. Amen. And then the last verse, just before we even leave this, this, this um, scripture, um, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 20, the last verse that she says, for you went bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. So let's just pray that we would glorify God with our bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm. Let us pray. Let's <laughs> <ask> for discipline. <laughs> let us pray that we glorify God with our bodies in Jesus' name. My Holy Spirit, we just even pray right now that you actually touch every single heart right now, that in any way that you know, everybody, every single person knows in their hearts, whatever it is that we do that does not glorify God in our bodies, that what we know and what we don't know, Holy Spirit, we're going to ask right now that you start to minister, minister to us, reveal to us things that we are doing that does not glorify you in our bodies, God. Everything that we do, let it glorify you. So, Father, we just even pray right now that you would give us the grace to glorify glorify you in our bodies in the mighty name of jesus so glorify god in your bodies there we go but i would just ask for the grace to glorify you in our bodies god we will glorify you in our bodies god we'll never glorify ourselves in our bodies we'll glorify you in our bodies in the mighty name of jesus we'll glorify you in our bodies in the mighty, in the mighty name of jesus singles married divorced whatever it is you find yourself we will glorify god in our bodies young old whatever it is we will glorify god with our bodies god in the mighty name of jesus we will glorify god with our bodies god in the mighty name of jesus we'll glorify you god we'll put you first even in our bodies god in the mighty name of jesus we'll glorify god with our bodies god we'll glorify god with our bodies god so not just our spirit not just our soul but even our bodies will be an expression of you god will be an expression of you i think it was now who was leading worship was leading prayer this week and he said about you know expressing god expressing expressing to god praising god with an expression of your whole bodies god so that we will glorify you not, not just when we're worshiping but with everything that we are doing will be a glory will be a glorification unto you god it will be a glorification unto you god in the mighty name of jesus you would take pleasure in the way we live in our bodies god in the mighty name of jesus yes this is not the body this, this is a parish of a body accepted however god you will take pleasure in the way we live our body it will be acceptable to you god in the mighty name of jesus the way we live in our bodies will be acceptable to you God in the mighty name of Jesus taking care of our skin in what we take in in our food in our diets in what we take in in our bodies and our senses God in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus amen 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 sorry guys are you still with me um um can we also go to Matthew 5 verse verse 13 to 16 and it says um Matthew 5 verse 13 to 16 and it says you are the salt of the earth actions to read this in the embassy version bear with me I want to read this one in the embassy version I think so yeah let's do it Okay, empathy version. So it says, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its taste, its strength and its quality, I did. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its taste, its strength and its quality, how can its tasteless, how can its taste, its saltness, how can its saltness be restored? It is not good for anything any longer, but to be thrown out and trodden on the underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do men light a lamp, and put it under a peck measure, like under a, um, other verses would say under a table, under a stand, I guess, under a, you just don't put it under, basically. You don't put a lamp under, basically. Um, Where was I? Where was I? Here we go. Under a peck measure, but on a lamp stand, there you go. And it gives light to all in the house. So let your light shine before men that they may see your moral excellence and your praiseworthy, no, your praiseworthy, noble and good deeds and recognize and honor and praise and glorify your father who is in heaven. And when I was praying about this, what came to mind was I kept thinking of um, um, we're the light of the world, we're the light of the world, we're the light of the world. But for the light of the world, we're actually what people see if people are not like spiritually minded or whatever it is what they yeah if they're not spiritually minded enough i guess whatever they see is like they see our bodies first yes we want people to see like our spirit our souls when them like to reflect jesus we're images of god absolutely but they see our bodies first they see our bodies first and i think what came to mind again was just thinking about the fact that we are the temple of of um the holy spirit is if we are the temple of the holy spirit what do people see when they see us and i was thinking of like how you adorn your body how you adorn the temple and that's something i'd like to study later on so that's something to think about when we're praying but the second thing i want, first thing I want us to actually focus on is that we I want us to pray against anything or we should pray and submit our bodies again to god and pray against anything that we are putting on our bodies that is a distraction or a constraint to the light of god in us and why i was and why i put it that way is because i was even looking at my lamp right now um with my lamp for example this is a lamp thingy it's like a reading lamp and if you can see it 
it's a reading lamp with a reading lamp and like with different lamps like you have your you have those dressing things and depending on how those things around your lamp is it like it focuses the light and like so it, like it focuses the light on something and like it's not as bright as it can be if that makes sense because the thing like the shade is around it if that makes sense and I think when I was praying what came to mind was just the point of when if we are the light of the world we don't want anything to constrain us we want to be so we want to be so bright we want to be so bright in our lightness we want to beam <laughs> there we go in our lightness that we actually can shine you know what god wants us to do like we're not we're not constraining ourselves if that makes sense because i was thinking of the different things that we do the different things that we like to add to ourselves and which could actually be a constraint because if you put those lampshade thingies on your light it just gives it a different feel depending on the kind of lampshade you put on it just gives it a different feel so i got to just pray about that i hope i've explained that properly i was really because it was in my mind and i didn't know if i was supposed to translate it properly but i hope holy spirit you know, gives you understanding in Jesus' name um right so let's just pray that every distraction and every constraint on our lights will be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Constraint in terms of our bodies, because even though the light is shining through with the Holy Spirit living inside of us, we don't want anything on us, anything that we see in culture, anything that we see around us put on us, on our bodies. You can think of anything physical that you that is put on your body, like a scarf, whatever it is, in the way we dress, in the way we move, in the way we express ourselves, whatever it may be, whatever it may be, we don't know, but whatever constraint there may be to our lights, so let's just pray that it's removed in the mighty name of Jesus. So the Holy Spirit, we just submit our bodies to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just pray against every constraint and every limitation, every restriction, every distraction to our life that you put in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Rasataya masataya basata. You even said, Lord, that we are city on a hill. But if a city is on a hill and there's so many things around it, the light can't shine through. So Lord, we just pray and we just submit ourselves to you. Everything that we have added on as an add-on, we just let it go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just ask that you let your light shine through us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us not use any parts of our bodies to be a constraint to your light in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us not use any parts of our bodies to be a a constraint to your light in the mighty name of Jesus. Mara sataya basa kaya basa ta. Maro soto yobo soko robo soto. Rekere besete ebe sekere besate. Jeka yema sataya basa kara basa ta. Maro soto yobo soko robo soto. Jeka rama sataya basa sekere besete. Rekere yema sete ebe sete. Jeka yema sataya basa sataya basa ta. Maro soto yobo soko robo soto. Mara sataya basa sataya basa kara basa ta. Jeka kaya masataya basa sekere besete. Rekere yema sete ebe sekere besete. Rekere everything that is a constraint everything that is a restriction everything that is a distraction to your light god to your light god Father, we just take it away and we submit our bodies to you god we submit our bodies to you god shine through as you will shine through as you will let there be no add-ons god we are a vessel shine through as you will we are your sons we are your image god shine through as you will shine through as you will we let go and let you god in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus um also just in that verse as well I think it was the first verse I think it was verse 12 verse 12 was verse 13 where it says you are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost its taste and strength and its quality how can its salt how can its saltness be restored uh, I thought you just pray for restoration because just when praying over that I'm just thinking of like a sexual immorality as well let's just pray over our bodies that in any way that, that it has been perverted oof, in any way it has been perverted in any way it has been abused in any way not even by us but by the people around us because we live in a, in a in a sad world you know there's molestation there's abuse there are different things that we've all you know been attacked by the different things that we've all experienced but let's just pray god that in any way that our bodies have been as have been have been attacked has been abused has been perverted has been corrupted by us by the people around us by the people that we submitted to by the people whatever the situation may have been in any way our bodies have been corrupted abused or we feel has lost its saltness they'll just pray for restoration and if that is not your story they'll just intercede for ourselves they'll just intercede for the whole of the Lutheran family let's intercede for the body that in any way that we have that we feel we have lost our saltness that we shall just pray for restoration right now to our bodies in the mighty name of Jesus Father we just thank you that you are our comforter we thank you that you are our comforter whatever we feel that has been snatched away from us whatever saltness whatever salt whatever taste whatever light that we feel has been snatched away from us as it regards to our bodies because our bodies are actually a physical representation of us in this world is our entry point god in any way we may have been abused we may have been a victim 
whatever situation, even in situations where we will actually be abusers, God, but that we just submit ourselves to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In any way, our salt has been lost. In any way, our salt has been contam contaminated. We stand on your authority, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you that you are the restorer. We just pray that you start to restore this, every salt right now. You start to restore every light right now in the minds of people, in the hearts of people. Let your love fill them. Be, be, be their comforter. You are the shepherd of their soul. You are their restorer. And we shall know once, whatever we feel we have lost, especially through our bodies, whatever we feel that is missing in our bodies, that has been snatched away from us or we have given away. We just thank you that you are the restorer. You will make us lie down in the green pastures with our bodies. You will lead us, you will lead our bodies beside still waters. You will restore our bodies. You will lead our bodies in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. But we are not even our own. We are not even our own. We are yours, God. We are yours, God. We are yours, God. But I, I will just ask right now for a turnaround in our minds and our souls and our spirits in what we take in and what we receive and what we expect from you, God. If there is any hole, any dent in our bodies, in our souls, because any, any access point through our bodies that is actually causing pain in our souls, God. But I would just pray for restoration. We just pray for healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> We just pray for healing right now. We even ask for repentance, God. We ask for sanctification. We ask for repentance, God, in the areas of our bodies, in the areas where we, we may have been victims, God. Father, you know every heart. You know every pain. You know every soul. We just ask for healing, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We just ask for healing, God. You are a healer. You know exactly what we need and how we need it. You know exactly what everyone's going through in their bodies, God. And we just ask for healing right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we pray. And then let's just go to um, Romans 8, verse 10. Sorry, guys, are you with me? Um, ba, 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 ba. So this is also an anchor scripture that we've been using as well. So Romans 8, verse 10 to 11. Yeah, and I'm just going to read that in the AMPC version as well. And it just says... Um, uh, to, 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 where are we? Yeah, so Romans 8 verse 10 just says, but if Christ lives in you, then although your natural body is dead by reason of sin and guilt, the spirit is alive because of the righteousness that he imputes in you. And if the spirit of him who raises up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised, he who raised up G Christ Jesus from the dead will also restore to life your mortal short-lived perishable bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. I'm just going to read verse 11 in um, ESV just to get more understanding. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give you life, will also give a life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So I would like us to just use this verse <clears throat> just to pray over every single person on this call. I don't know if anyone has any um, form of physical um, ailments, any form of infirmities in your physical bodies. I'd like us to just pray. Um, if you don't have any, pray for everybody else on call. Pray for everybody else on call. <laughs> but I can just pray for ourselves and just for everyone around us. If you have anyone around you, anyone you, you know that is actually going through any form of physical um, infirmities, from a physical illness, any issues with their bodies, like just like, I don't know, any pain, wherever it may be. I'd like us to just pray over them in the mighty name of Jesus, just with this verse. I like that, and what the verse I really like what um the prayer point I wrote down is that the power of the, the power of the power of the Holy Spirit raised Christ from, out from the dead inside with the power of Christ that raised Christ from the dead the power of the Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of us and so we call back to life every dead thing or dying thing or barren thing in our bodies every dead thing every dead part every dead organ every dead cell wherever it is that's not working right whatever malignant thing that's not working Working right in our bodies i like us to just pray and i like us to pray with faith that like even though we're, even though we, we pray all the time on this call I like us to just pray with faith over our bodies in the mighty name of jesus if you don't have any ailments in your body pray for someone else on the call if pray for um if you if you're comfortable feel free to you know put your hand up and we can see you and it will, will, will 
focus our prayers on you. But if not, feel free to pray for anyone else in your family and members, anyone else that comes to mind that you know is actually having any illness. I'd like us to just pray that the Holy Spirit inside of us will start to heal, will start to restore. We'll start to heal, we'll start to deliver, we'll start to break through, we'll start to sanctify. We'll start to put back in alignment everything. We pray for perfect healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just pray for every single person who is ill on this call. We pray for every single person around us, in our bodies. We even pray for our bodies right now because we don't even know what's going on in our bodies personally. Father, we just pray for healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for perfect healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. For every single person who is actually going through any form of illness, any form of infirmity, we thank you that we are healed because by your stripes we are healed. Father, we just pray for perfect healing in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that because the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us, our bodies cannot be sick. Our bodies cannot have any infirmities. I haven't prayed for promise right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for every single person around us. For our fathers, for our friends, for our mothers. Every single person who has any form of infirmity, any form of ailment, in their bodies, in their organs. Be it hereditary or not. Father, we thank you that you are the restorer. You are our creator. You know how everything is meant to be. Father, we just pray for healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare that every single one of those people, they are healed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare perfect healing in the mighty name of Jesus. In their organs, in their mind, in their spirit. From as a headache. So even as this is acne in the mighty name of Jesus. We present our bodies as a living sacrifice to you, God. But that we ask that you burn every infirmity, everything that is not aligned to you, everything, every ailment, God, that should not be in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for perfect healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. From their head to their toe, their shoulders, their pain, whatever pain they might, be, they might actually be going, they might actually be feeling right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We even pray for a rev in the mighty name of Jesus. She had a tooth taken out, but I would just pray for healing in the mighty name of Jesus. We just pray for every single person God even if it's a back pain a shoulder pain a, a, a leg pain an arm pain whatever it may be maybe they're not sleeping well any form of ailment any form of discomfort God for I would just pray for perfect healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus Father, we just thank you, God. We just thank you, God. We just thank you, God, because your spirit dwells, dwells inside of us. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you dwell inside of us and you raise Christ back from the dead. You raise Christ back from the dead. So there is absolutely nothing that you cannot do. We tap into your power right now. We the power. We immense ourselves in you, God. We just pray for healing right now. Over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In our breathing, in our hearts, Maroko ko yobo se kere besete, Mara sata ya basa ta ya basa ka, Jaco yobo soto yobo se kere besete, Mara sata ya basa kere besete, Mara ke ke besete. But we pray for restoration, Maro soto yobo soko yobo soto, Reka ke ya masa ta ya basa ta, Mara kaka ya basa ta ya basa kara basa ta, Mara sata ya basa ta ya basa ta, Jaco yobo soto yobo se ke. Anyone who's been to undergo any surgery in the mighty name of Jesus, Mara sata ya basa kere besete, Reka ka ya masa ta. We even declare against any form of cancer. Marasa in from a flu, Rekeke Mesete Besete, Jekake Masataya Basaka, Rasataya Basakara Basataya Basekere Besete. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare complete healing over our bodies right now in the mighty name of Jesus, because we need our bodies to serve you, God. We need our bodies to serve you, God. We need to be whole. We need to be strong. Man, we, will, we will serve you if we're sick. We will serve you if anything is wrong, but we still want to have strong bodies in Jesus' name. We just thank you. We glorify your name. We give you all the praise and all the adoration, and we just thank you, God, for perfect healing, God. We thank you for perfect healing, God, and we await the testimonies, God, of perfect 
perfect healing, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, because of your Holy Spirit inside of us, God. And we just pray that we would we would stand on that authority of your perfect healing throughout our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. <laughs> Amen. And then lastly, I'd like us to just um, build up ourselves in our most holy faith for the next minutes do we have 15 minutes for the next 15 minutes in the mighty name of jesus um and the verse we always stand on is jude 20 21 jude 20 and it says i'll start from 19 um ah, not 20 20 is fine but you beloved building up yourselves in your most holy faith and praying in the holy spirit there we go <laughs> i like this to just pray um um in our in our most holy faith and just build up ourselves in the spirit just before we round up so reka kaya masata ya basakara basata ya basikiri besati jeka kaya masata ya basakara basata maru koko yobo soto yobo sikiri besati ya besati ya basakara basata raka kaya basata ya basikiri besati ya basakara basati jako yobo soto yobo sokoro bosoto yobo sokoro bosete reka kaya masata ya basakara basata maru koko yobo soto yobo sokoro bosoto jeka kaya Bosoto your bosso coro, Supercharge even during this fast on our bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Our bodies would not would not submit to the flesh even during this fast in the mighty name of Jesus. Sete, je kaye mesete ye mesete. Re sataya masata ya basata. Jaco, 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 Jaco,
Rakaya masata ya basata, jake ya masata ya basata, rakoko yo bosoto yo bosoko, rekeke ye mesete ye mesete, rekaka ya masata ya basata, jako ro bosoto yo bosoko, zeke ye mesete ye bosoko, rekaka ya masata ya basata ya basata, maroko yo bosoto yo bosoko, rekeke ye mesete ye bosoko, ye mesete ye bosoko, ye mesete ye Maro soto ye bo soko robo soto reke ke ye mesete ye be jako 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 ye ka ye masata ya basata ya basata mara sata ya basata ya basata rasata ya basata ya basata rasata ya basata ya basata jako robo soto ye bo soko robo soto resete ye mesete ye besete mare ka ya basata ya basete ye basata reka ka ya basata ya basata jako robo bo soko robo soto reka ke ya masata ya Mara Masata, Basata, Rasoto Yo Bosoko Bosoto, Reka Masata Yabasata, Jacoro Bosoto Yobosoto, Reka Masata Yabasata, Jacoro Bosoto Yobosoto, Reka Masata Yabasata, Jacoro Bosoto Yobosoto, Resate Masakara Basata, Jacere Mesete Yemesete, Reke Yemesete Yemesete, Rasoto Yo Bosoko Bosoto Yobosoto, Jeka Yem Masata Yabasata, Jacoro Bosoto Yobosoko, Resata Yamasata Yabasakara Basata, Rasoto Yobosoko Bosoto Yobosoto, Resete Yemesete Yemesete, Jeka Yamasata Yabasakara Basata, Rasoto Yobosoko Bosoto, Reka Yamasata Yabasata Yabas, Shaka Yamasata Yabasakara Basata, Resete Yemesete Yemesete, Rasoto Yobosoko Bosoto Yobosoto Yobosoto, Jeka Yemasata Yabasakara Basata Yabasata, He Shaka Yamasata Yabasata, Marasata Yabasaki Yemesata Yabasoko Bosoko Bosaki Yemesaki. Ya basakara basata he jakera masata ya basakara basata ya basata ya basata maroko ko yo bosoto yo bosoko ro bosoto reka ke ya masata ya basata mareke ke ye besete ye besete ye besete jeka ye masata ya basakara basata zake ya masata ya basakara basata maroko ko yo bosoto yo bosoto jeka ye masata ya basata ya basata maroko to yo bosoko ro bosoto reke ke ye besete ye besete jeka ye besete ye besete jeka ye masata ya basata ya basata raka ya basata ya basakara Jacquea Masata, 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 Jacquea Masata,
Rabasata, Mara Sataya Basakara Basataya Basata, Jacor Bosoto Yabosu Kuru Bosoto, Rekaya Masataya Basataya Basata, Rasataya Basataya Basataya Basata, Jacor Bosoto Yabosu Kuru Bosoto Yabosu Kuru Bosu Kuru, Rekaya Masataya Basakiri Bisataya Basakiri Bisataya Basata, Marisa Taya Basakara Basata, if your mind wonders, just bring it back, Rekaya Masataya Basata, Maroto to Yabosu Kuru Bosoto, Rakaya Masataya Basataya Basata, Jacor Bosoto Yabosu Kuru, Rekaya Masataya Basata, Zekaya Masataya Basakiri Bisate, Jacoro Bosso to your Bosso to Rekake and Missetti and Bessetti, Rekakaya Masataya Basata, Jacaya Masataya Basata, Rasataya Masataya Basata, Rasataya Masataya Basata, Rasso to your Bosso Corobosso, Jacaya Masataya Basataya Basata, Marissa say you visited a visit, you visited, you can visit a visit, you visit, Jacaya Masataya Basakara Basata, Rasso to your Bosso Corobosso to Rekaki and Missetti. Jacarabasataya Basataya Basata, Marikakaya Basataya Basata, Marosoto Yobosokuru Bosoto Thank you, Lord. We 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 Rasataya <laughs> I think I should just sit in silence for just about one minute, please. Amen. Amen. Um, um, <laughs> Amen. Um, I would like us to read. Um, I like everyone to read. Um, I would like to encourage everyone to read Exodus fifteen. Um, in your own time, but I'll just read from verse one to verse five now. Verse one to three. I'll just read from verse one to three now. So it says, um, then Moses, um, then Moses and the people. This is after Moses, um, Moses delivered Moses and the, and the Israelites left, um. Egypt and they had crossed the river and then Pharaoh and his chariots got swampled up in the river as they should. Um, right, so Exodus 15 verse 1. So it says, Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. 
the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. And I encourage you to just read the whole um the whole passage later on. And I pray he blesses you. Um yeah, that's fine. And I pray he blesses you. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's uh, that's fine. Um yeah, yeah. Um, let's share the grace. <laughs> but the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and message shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And I just pray, Lord, and I thank you that everything that we have prayed for, everything that we have been delivered from, everything that you have sanctified is done. And even just as the Israelites actually even, you know, the crossed over, I thank you that we've crossed over in Jesus' name and we've been delivered in Jesus name from everything that seemed like a God to us everything that seemed greater than us everything that seemed bigger than us I thank you that you've delivered us from it as well in Jesus name for in Jesus name we're afraid amen have an amazing morning guys bye